Hello, I'm Kasim Hassan Ali. Confusion and deliberate mind games is what could sum up Tuesday's session in Parliament where cabinet secretaries have been asked to take the floor to answer questions from the National Assembly. It started with a letter from State House to the Assembly clerk indicating that Chari Tingilu, Joseph Olelenku and Jacob Kaimenyu were not going to appear due to the ongoing back and forth over legality of the new standing orders. Tuesday morning though, the three CSs seemed to have received the memo as Ngilu was in the house bright and early where she took questions from the MPs. As she did that, her colleagues Lenko and Kemeni were in Majority Leader Adan Duale's office awaiting their turn. However, when their turn came, it emerged that the two cabinet secretaries had vanished. Ngilu, who has good experience in answering MPs' questions, says the move by the National Assembly is positive as it will help secretaries tell Kenyans what their ministries are doing. Uh, I first and foremost want to thank you most sincerely and indeed the entire August House for allowing us to share what we are doing in the government with you. And I'm happy to be before this uh, General Oversight Committee of Parliament. Mr. Speaker, I must admit that uh, I'm feeling very strange in this house. Today, in fact, Mr. Speaker, it's not a good day for me because I, 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 I have been mourning the last 48 hours because I lost a nephew in a car accident. But I want us to say that let us treat this in an emergency and uh, make sure that uh, and, and, and pick from and pick from the let us not spoil the, the, the day the day was very good honorable child Tingilo answered very well the question of honorable kaluma and honorable tanui and, uh, and 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 of course honorable munyaka honorable members the information i'm getting is that from the clerk that the the other two cabinet secretaries who are uh, waiting in the office of the leader of majority to appear at their time have since uh, vanished <laughs> they cannot be located uh, from the office of the leader of majority and it is an open it's, 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 the office is open president uhuru kenyatta has reiterated his commitment to visit nyanza region through his spokesman Manoa Isipisu, he explained that he was forced to postpone the trip scheduled for this week as he was unable to reschedule pressing prior commitments in time. He said there are two particular vital engagements which are incompatible with an extended visit to Nyanza this week. The two vital engagements are a business summit in Kigali and the commissioning of the Olkaria 4 geothermal power plant. President Uhuru Kenyatta has honored the gallant KDF soldiers for devoting their lives in defending the nation. The president particularly paid tribute to soldiers who had lost their lives in various military operations, including international peacekeeping missions all over the world. He said, Kenya's men and women in uniform have always inspired a sense of dedication to duty, pride and professionalism in their rank and profile. President Kenyatta commended the KDF for their professionalism, steadfastness and loyalty to the government of the day. Let me commend your exceptional conduct of Operation Linda Inchi which culminated in the liberation of Kismayo from the Al-Shabaab and which has been rewarded with other significant advancements in recent months. These experiences, the heroic toil of our young men and women in uniform, should not be lost to us nor to our children. That is why I am also grateful that the book we have just launched today will indeed be read for generations to come. I have nothing but praise for KDF for choosing to document for the first time in our history their experiences in war. And in business, the Energy Regulatory Commission has announced an overall decrease in fuel prices across the country. The ERC says the cost of super petrol has dropped by 75 cents and will now retail at 110.89 shillings in Nairobi starting midnight Tuesday. Diesel in the capital city has registered the largest drop of 1 shilling and 69 cents and will now sell at 100.67 shillings. Kerosene has registered a marginal drop of 75 cents and will retail at 80.88 shillings. And in sports, Athletics Kenya has confirmed the Ministry of Sports, Arts and Culture has agreed to the government financial guarantee for the 2017 World Youth Championships bid. 
Federation's President Isaiah Kiplag had said the state has supported their intentions to host the biennial event in Nairobi and they will be sending the necessary document to Monaco before the extended deadline of 31st of this month elapses. Kenya, who had their bid application received by IAAF, will compete for the hosting rights with the USA after Argentina withdrew. For more on these and other stories, do log on to our website www.capitalfm.co.ke forward slash TV. I'm Kasim Hassan Ali.